Let's go over some of the ways that we can take data in our terrestrial chamber. So one of the methods that we use is a soil probe. In order to use this soil probe, and this probe measures fertility, pH, and temperature, the first thing that you need to do is you need to wet your soil thoroughly. The reason for this is that this probe measures ions and the ions in the soil need to come out into the water in order to be able to be picked up by the probe. After our soil is thoroughly wet, we're going to go ahead and take the probe and with a dry paper towel, we're going to rub the probe and that's to loosen any oxidization that has occurred. And then we're going to take the probe and we're going to put it in the soil. And you wanna make sure that there is a tight fit. You don't wanna pock it. You wanna make sure that the probe is surrounded by soil um, in your terrestrial chamber. The first one we're gonna look at is temperature. And this temperature says 61 degrees. Now, this is a layperson's tool, which means it's not a science tool. It's uh, used for gardeners and the average gardener doesn't read Celsius. The average gardener will read Fahrenheit and so this probe actually reads Fahrenheit. But for us, because we're in a science class, we want to use Celsius. So you will need to convert Fahrenheit into Celsius. And this happens to be 61 degrees, which is quite cold for soil your plants won't grow very quickly in 61 degree soil. The next one that we will do is uh, the pH. So the pH in my soil is reading at seven, at neutral. That's common, that's okay. If your soil reads at neutral, it should. We put in here potting soil that was good potting soil and the makers of the potting soil try to get the potting soil at neutral because you're going to have the majority of your plants that can grow at a neutral pH. And next I'm going to check my fertility. So the fertility is reading four right now, which is sufficient. So the fertility is reading a combined measurement of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And so a four means that it has sufficient levels of all of those three. When I am done, I want to go ahead and wipe it clean. You do not submerge this in water. Some of the other probes that we use, you have to rinse in distilled water, but this soil probe does not get submerged in water. So you just wipe it clean. And then we're going to measure the heights of our plants. And so over here at number one, I have a pea plant and I'm going to measure the height of the pea plant. And so right now it's at 10 centimeters. And then my other pea plant at number two is measuring at 10.4 centimeters. And then I have a basil over here at number four. Looks like I have two growing, which means I accidentally put two seeds in. And that's at 1.7. And then I don't see germination anywhere else. And so we're going to measure the heights of our plants. Now if we have any other observations, perhaps if you see worms that are um, making holes through your soil, you can write down some observations here. And or anything that's occurred with your detritivore insects, you can write down observations and adjustments in your data also.